One of my subscribers, Cliff MP, hello Cliff, thank you for subscribing by the way, has asked me if I could do a video on asset management, i.e. how and where I store my files for when I'm creating videos. I'm John and this is Fun with Filmora. Lights, camera, action! Let's have some fun. The first thing to do, or the first thing I did when I installed Filmora, let me show you, is I went to File and Preferences. I then went to Folders. I then choose a default storage location. I think when you first open it, it defaults to something like C, Windows, Documents, Wondershare, something like that. But I change that. I also change up where the backup projects, the project files and the proxy files are going to go. And I store them on an external hard drive. And the way you change that is you just click on change. And then choose a folder where you want it to be. You can see I've got, got it under data S, which is my external drive. And the same for the backup projects and the other ones. You just click on browse and choose a folder. The reason why I do that is, well, a couple of reasons. First of all, I like to keep everything safe on an external drive. But should something happen to the program um, and it crashes or... I have to uninstall and reinstall it. I know that I've got all my project files and my backups and my proxies on an external hard drive. So I recommend you do that as well. Also backup settings as well. That's a good one to have on. I always have it back up my project every one minute. Then just click on apply. Okay. I use the global media quite a bit and in here, you can see I have a few folders. There's not that many when you very first start, but you can create your own by right clicking anywhere in there, adding a folder, and then you can rename that folder. So you can call it demo. Obviously there's nothing in there at the moment. Uh, to rename it again or delete it, you right click, rename, delete, or you can add a new folder. But the folders I have at the moment under keyboard keys there, just like little images. You can't see them because they're black, but they're just little images of a keyboard. I think there's a white one there, like a little arrow. So I use them. Sound effects. Now these sound effects are from the internet. I've got an account with Envato Elements and they're all obviously because I've got an account with them. I can use them legally and without any copyright issues. I put the link in the description below. So I've downloaded them and stored them in here. You can't actually store any of the audio files that are in Filmora under your global media. Well, I'm saying you can't, there is a way of doing that and I'll show you how, how to do that in a minute. So under here, I've got some sound effects that I've got from the internet. And again, if you click on them, you can hear them. Images, these are most of the images that I use quite regular in my video, so I keep them in there. Nothing on the music, I wanna show you that in a second. My videos, like my intro videos, etc., they all go under there. Any sample videos that I might use. I know I use the flower one quite often, but I'm going to have to start using some other ones. I'm getting bored of them myself. Uh, audio. Now that's just um, like voiceovers. So for example, this week's pin number for the monthly giveaway is number two. By the way, it's not number two. That's just an example. <laughs> so underneath shorts, I don't do many shorts. So I put a folder in there in case I need it in the future, but I'm not using it at the moment. Uh, there's a folder there that I've created and I forgot to rename. So I'm just going to right click on that and delete that. Don't require that one. We've got socials, which is like me, like, subscribe, etc. And on that note, please like and subscribe. Thank you. And obviously our demo. Now, under any of these folders, if you click on there, it'll open up like it normally does to choose whatever you want. An image, a video, anything at all, really. So let me just go to... Um, I've done that thing again. <laughs> Let me click on test. And then import it. And that's always in your global media folder now. Well, under the demo folder on mine. And anytime you open a new project, all those files will already be in there. So anything that you use on a regular basis, I highly recommend keeping them in them. It's really good. What you can't do, like I said before, is if you find a piece of audio that you like on film order. So for example, this clapping hippies you think yeah that'd be a great piece of um piece of music to use in your video 
yes you can click there and add it to your favorites and it'll go in your favorites which is great and that's handy to do but again if there's ones that i use on a regular basis i would like them all under my global media and cliff asked this question at a really good time because only last week i actually had an interview with phil uh, phil Mora, sorry with wondershare and they were asking me about the software filmora what do i think of it you know what could be done and i mentioned the fact that i'd like to see all of the favorite folders for the audio the titles transitions etc etc i'd like to see them all under the main media tab like global media it'd just be easier to get to and a lot quicker um, i also mentioned could you store favorite audio titles etc in the global media and he said he can't at this moment in time but I've found a way that you can do it should you want to use regular footage or regular audio that you use on there okay yes it's in your favorites but I like them all to be under here so for example I shall stop waffling and I'll just show you that'll be easier so say you go to a piece of music you like the sound of it like I said that clapping hands Oh, sorry, clapping hippies. Yeah, you like that. Drag it onto the timeline. It's just downloading first. Give me a second. And then what you can do is you can actually export that piece of footage or audio. So let's just call it test audio or test music. Um, I want it to be just, I'll leave it there as it is. And I want it to be an MP3. It's just audio. It's not a video. It's just the audio. So, click an MP3. Export. Give that a second. This week's pin number for the monthly giveaway is number seven. Okay, now it's exported. What you can do is go back to your global media. Go to the music folder, if you created one. Click on that. Test music. Open. And there you go and it's actually in our global media folder now under music and that'll always be there so if i go to do a new project you'll notice that under global media under music is test music and the demo folders there so that's a great way of storing all your media in an easy accessible place plus it's sort of backed up as well and believe me i need a backup <laughs> I make that many mistakes and delete that many things that I don't, I don't mean to. It's unbelievable. I'll probably delete this video and have to do this one again. <laughs> God, I don't know. Anyway, so there you go. That's how I do my asset management. Um, anything else under stock media, I keep as a favourite and they all go under the favourite folders. Same with audio. Same with titles. I have regular ones that I use and some that I don't. Don't forget you can add anything as a favorite simply by click on a little star next to it that then goes into your favorites if you no longer need that just go into it and sorry go into your favorites and then click on the star again and that removes it there's some in there i need to remove actually i'll do that sometime again the transitions are favorites and they're all the same the only other one that is slightly different let me show you they're all the same is templates because on the templates, you can actually create your own templates and save them as a custom template. You can also save titles as custom templates. So any custom templates you have are saved under the custom tab in mine under templates. And I've created my former film order lower third there and my former film order transition and I've saved it there. I also then downloaded those as videos and put them into my video sorry my global media video folder you can see it there the transition and the lower third regarding um, asset management on my PC I like anybody else I suppose just create folders I create videos to do videos in progress videos done and that's it so Cliff, I hope this has answered your question. I hope it helps you. I hope it helps other people out there. And let me know if you have a different system. I'd be very, very interested actually. So this was a nice little quick video for you, but great subject. Um, and thanks again, Cliff. That was really worth, uh, really worth a mention. So 
as always thanks very much for watching now go have some fun did you hear me mention this week's pin number you'll need that to enter the 50 pound giveaway at the end of the month